We've all had a week to digest and discuss the Android 12 Beta 1 user face and release, and after sharing some of our top new additions right upon that drop, we have some more features you might have missed out on, so let's dive in. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. As with any of our deeper dives or follow-ups, it's worth noting that not all of these features in the Android 12 beta phase will be fully functional when they appear, but luckily there isn't too much that you can't do just yet. But there is one new notable addition you might not have spotted. So while a dedicated gaming mode has surfaced already a couple of times in previous builds, the dedicated game mode is now technically live in the latest Android 12 beta 1 build. We say technically as it can be enabled but isn't fully functional, at least from an end user standpoint. Gaming phones might not be something we can give a full seal of approval for everybody out there, but more OEMs are adding dedicated modes for playing mobile games. To find the game mode yourself, you'll find it within settings, notifications, do not disturb, head to schedules and it should be there and visible. We've seen the UI before, but when enabling the features, such as an FPS counter, screenshot shortcut, and screen recording button, a small floating toolbar will appear, but you can't fully dismiss that. That's all for the gaming mode right now, that's all it does currently. Hopefully we'll see this implemented in full during beta 2 or beta 3, but we're sure it will arrive by the time the final release is ready. You might not have noticed this one right away, but if you plug in your device to a charger while running Android 12 beta 1, the usual charging confirmation is enhanced with a short ripple effect that will give you a proper visual indicator that your Pixel is taking in power. Now this alone is a nice addition, but it gets better though as the animation will be slightly different depending on whether you put your Pixel on a wireless charging pad or plug in with a USB-C cable. When set down on a wireless charger, the animation resembles a water splash ripple from the centre of the screen. Use a traditional charge cable and there will be a wave ripple upwards from the bottom of your screen from where the charge port position is. It's a delightful little UI tweak that underlines the effort Google is clearly putting into all facets of Android 12. In hindsight, this added animation ties in together with the ripple animation when tapping buttons and toggles much closer together. The large clock screen icon is also animated slightly if the always on display isn't fully active. Sure, this isn't the most groundbreaking of changes, but it's a great little extra visual aid. Toast messages are those brief little pop-ups that appear just above your navigation buttons or gesture bar, informing you of a change or an action that's being performed. For a long time, Toast messages have been devoid of any overt context over which app has generated them. Sure, it can be obvious given the context of the pop-up displayed, but in this latest beta build, Google is now giving you a visual indication of which app has generated them. A great example is when copying text. Say, for instance, you want to share a tweet, for example. A toast message will pop up to confirm that Twitter has accessed your clipboard. At present, it's only visible for apps accessing the share or clipboard functionality, but we do hope that the indicator rolls up further as it is a helpful visual indicator. This one actually slipped by us at first as with such a huge visual overhaul with Android 12, the clock app has added an alarm toggle to the quick settings toggle panel for super quick access. Upcoming alarms are still shown in the status bar like you're used to, but a new toggle has come to your notification shade section for quicker access. Tapping doesn't actually disable your alarm like you would expect it to. Instead, it will just launch the clock app and allow you to make necessary adjustments to your schedule alarms and timers. That said, it will save you having to delve into your app drawer to find the clock app itself. Although indirectly tied to Android 12 Beta 1, we thought this was at least worth a mention as a recent update to the Google Pixel Buds means that you should soon be able to see the remaining lifespan of each earbud in hours rather than just a percentage. Again, although not directly related to the recent update, it only appears to be available to those running this latest beta build of Android 12. It seems to be very rare and sporadically appearing for some users out there at this stage, but if you do have the Pixel Buds and have updated your device to Android 12, you might be able to see just how long each earbud will last via the dedicated companion app or device settings in a much more human metric than a hard to decipher percentage figure. We have to note that this might be part of a wider AB user interface test, but even so, it's only currently visible or reported as being available to those running Android 12 Beta 1, which is a big bonus for the long-term usability of Bluetooth headphones. 
So that's a few extra features that we missed in our initial sweep of the top features as part of the Android 12 Beta 1 build. That said, if you are running it on your device, what is your favorite new feature or indeed features? Let us know down in the comments section below. And if this video manages to reach 2,500 likes, we'll also share another of our exclusive Android 12 Beta wallpapers you can see in this video. So be sure to share this content with as many people as possible. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.